In the year 2020, online dating has become the normalised way of finding your soulmate. Most people assume that catfishing is a thing of the past due to our current technology, yet the number of people still being catfished is quite high. Catfishing is when someone online, most commonly on a dating app, pretends to be someone else by using false information such as fake edited pictures, which often results in a scam. Since last year, I have been closely following the relationship of widow Jane and retired accountant Stephen, who in late July 2019 met on the dating app Plenty of Fish, a dating platform typically for the over 50s. I started talking to Stephen to just pass the time, really. It was coming up a year since losing my husband to a heart attack. I didn't really handle his death very well. As you can imagine, it was very sudden and I allowed it to destroy me for a very long time afterwards. He was a doctor for 28 years and we had a great life. I asked my daughter to set me up an online dating profile as I'm not very good with the technology and I only know the basics on the computer. So she did it all for me and off I went. In the first couple of months of getting to know Stephen, I had tried to meet up with him in person on several occasions. However, there was always an excuse as to why he couldn't meet. It was, oh, my car broke down, or it was something came up with my mum, as he told me his elderly mum was very ill, in and out of hospital, and he was the one who had to look after her. And this was around when I started to become suspicious that he wasn't really who he said he was. Shortly after this, his messages became less frequent. He was telling me things that didn't add up. He was getting his storyline muddled up and he started asking me more personal questions about my finances and my late husband. This sort of behavior from him carried on for a few more weeks. And then my daughter, who's good with the technology, told me that she'd come across a profile on Facebook whose profile picture was the same as Stephen's picture on Plenty of Fish. And that was the moment that all the pieces fell into place and I realised that Stephen wasn't in fact Stephen at all. I texted him a screen grab of his profile on Facebook but I didn't receive a reply and within 24 hours all of his accounts were deleted and I was blocked. After investigation, it was discovered that Stephen was actually 28-year-old James, who is a professional catfish online, primarily targeting vulnerable people such as Jane in hopes to steal their money. Unfortunately for Jane, within seconds of looking at her dating profile, the catfish knew that she was a prime target. He knew straight away that she was over 55 and also widowed, highlighting her weakness and vulnerable state. <laughs> 